Many will try and claim this video is unsuitable for young minds, and below a certain age I would probably agree if I'm honest. But at a certain point the questioning, the curiosity, will come in. And if we don't arm our kids with the knowledge, they're just going to blunder into awful situations on their own. So let's talk about Yes, God, Yes from 2019, written and directed by Karen Main, based on the short of the same name from two years prior. This stars Nancy Wheeler, I mean Natalia Dyer, Francesca Real, Wolfgang Novogratz, and Timothy Simons, who has the easiest name of those four people. But this was one of those that was very interesting to me, because for those who may not know, my primary school, or elementary school equivalent for those in the States or other countries that use that system, was a Roman Catholic primary school. This isn't for a religious reason. My family are the type who would occasionally go to church on Christmas or something like that, or prior to a marriage kind of go to a church a bit to kind of get them on site. That's very much my family's religious backing. However, children are very impressionable. I have videos available to me that I could watch of me running around as a small child singing hymns like normal songs. It does get into the heads of children. I would argue that it's indoctrination, but this is not what this video is for. But that experience stayed with me. That's given me the scepticism of religion. This is why whenever I say anything about religion, I can back it up because I know the Bible probably better than most people would assume. My middle school was actually a Church of England school, which was a softer version, but still had that religious angle. So it didn't really stop until high school, which was very much religion free, pretty much, apart from religious education classes. But in this, we have Natalia Dye's character of Alice stumbling onto some racy situation on an AOL chat. And that starts the process of the sex questions. You know, what is it about? What's this all about? You know, and she's really trying to understand her own sexuality. And like I said at the start on the intro, this is something that I feel very strongly about, the idea of abstinence teaching, which is basically not teaching at all, doesn't work. I've known people who've gone through the entire process in a Catholic school, Catholic all girls schools, who then go out and just make so many bad decisions because it's so repressed. If you just say, no, this is a thing you don't need to know about, people will find a way. Sex wasn't not happening before we had sex ed. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here right now. It's a natural biological function. So we see through this tale of Alice's how her friends are willingly going along and drinking the Kool-Aid, if you will, you know, and sort of buying the story. However, we see how hypocritical this is. And that's what I love this film for. This is a very seriously religious environment, especially when she goes to the camp. And everyone's saying, don't do anything, don't fraternise, don't even think about it, it's all wrong, masturbation is a sin, there's a scene in a classroom where this is mentioned. You should not touch yourself, you should have communion with another member of the opposite sex. That is what God has said, and that has to be in marriage. This is laid out right at the start, we know what kind of religious background this is. This is, marriage is the only place for it. But when she's off at camp, she also stumbles upon another chat room and gets the father in trouble. Although, later on, when she's doing her reparations for what she's done before, she sees that he's actually watching porn. His tool for masturbation. The sin that he claimed earlier. There's a whole thread throughout that she apparently tossed someone's salad. And part of her questioning is literally just to find out what people are accusing her of. I'm not going to tell you what that is. It's in, mentioned in the film. It's clarified there, which I'm hoping you've watched before because I am spoiling it. But if you still don't know what it is, I'm not going to tell you. You can Google it yourself, but don't come to me saying, why did you tell me to do that? Your curiosity led you there. But it's only, only that that really drives a big portion of this. The curiosity of what she's being accused of that she didn't even do because she didn't go there. She wasn't available to do that. But we also see that one of the sort of leaders, if you will, like the team leaders on this retreat is getting orally pleasured by a girl and this blows her mind as well. But she's also trying to figure out herself because she has this attraction and she doesn't know how to act on it. She goes into the kiss with this guy 
And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, you know, there's this awkwardness now between them that when they go back to school, it's played up. But there's a great moment at the end of the retreat when it's all like, you know, how do we... Or what do we say about what we've learned here? What's our takeaway? And everyone's invited to give their opinion of what they've kind of got from this. And she goes up and gives such an amazing speech. And if I've been able to get away with it because of the YouTube guards, it will be here. What if we just tried to be honest and to treat each other with respect? That's what Jesus wanted, right? And then maybe we could stop feeling so guilty about who we are all the time because the truth is we're all just trying to figure out our shit. We go into this world unknowing and we've got to figure stuff out. You know, we've got to experiment. We've got to understand what's going on. And we do that just, just by doing it. You know, we're all kind of broken. We're all upset sometimes. We all have problems. But we just get on with it and figure stuff out, and that's what it, this, that, that's what this is for. Life is about making mistakes and learning from them. Is effectively what I've taken away from it. And religion is hypocritical, of course. But I love moments, where, even when she's speaking to the, the woman at the bar, and was saying, "Yeah, you know, I had that, and then I found a, a lovely woman who I've lived with. Get out of this town. This town is not for people like you who have your own mind." And I think the town is also metaphor for religion because the town is led by religion. It's very much a Utah style. I don't know if it's meant to be there. I didn't get Mormonism impressions, but it has that feel that the state is pretty much run by the church, even though in the states, division of church and state is a thing. But in, in that area, it is that bad. And this town is very much like that. Religion is the core of this town. And people like Alice cannot survive in that environment. I cannot survive in that environment because I'm questioning. You know, all of this stuff that happened with me singing hymns and stuff, I was 10 at the most, probably. And once I'd reached my teens, that faded off. And I do think that children should be allowed to grow naturally. A bit of a sidebar in a way, but the way that we educate now is so wrong in many ways it's so much we are molding you to be a certain type of person when you add religion into that which is all about molding you into a certain type of person as well you're basically removing individuality you're removing creativity and the child's natural growth kids of yesteryear grew into fairly well-rounded human beings because they weren't so regimented unless again it was in religious circles but we need to get back to that. And I think this film is a great mock to both education and particularly religious uh, education as well. But this film is definitely about the hypocrisy of both. And I loved it for that. This was one of those that I'd not really heard anything about. I'd stumbled upon it and went, Stranger Things, lass. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, it's mocking this thing. Okay, let's see what's behind these doors. And I'm glad I did. If you're still to see it, and I hope I haven't really ruined too much by giving a lot of the plot points away, but seriously, if you've got anyone who is too adamant about like the quality of religious education and things like that, show them this and hope they change their mind. But I don't want to get into that debate too much, so I'll stop this here. Just enjoy this film for what it is, and like I say, let kids question, let kids be curious, and figure out their own stuff. So next time I'll be back with something different, but until then, as always, thank you for watching, and take care.